good morning dear students today we are going to read about a poem which is going to teach you a very good lesson a lesson for a lifetime that you will always remember before starting the poem i would want all of you to be quiet close your eyes and think about lockdown only for 5 minutes just imagine what your life was before the lockdown and what your life has become during the lockdown and during this lockdown who do you think is suffering it is the human who is suffering we the humans are suffering do you think animals and birds are suffering they might be suffering because of the shortage of food but majorly they are enjoying you might have seen the news that peacocks are coming out right varieties of birds have been seen in the environment why is it happening it is happening because these things are a usual process no matter how much the humans will destroy the earth these things will never stop what will never stop the trees will forever grow the birds will come the frog will sing you will see the spring season these things are constant they will take place on a regular basis no matter even the mankind will perish perish means it will gradually end it will gradually be killed or it will be over so in this poem the poet has told the same thing that even after several wars have taken place several fight have taken place this lockdown condition has taken place even if the worst of the situation takes place there are few things that will be continuous so the title of the poem explains this thing there will come soft rain that means even if there will be a war there will be soft rain the soft rain will be continuous and along with soft rain what you will have we'll see in the slides now as you see in the first slide i have put a picture and above that you can see it is written there will come soft rain now you must be wondering where is the rain i have just made a monkey with a skeleton you will see and understand this in the next slide now we'll start with first four lines there will come soft rains and the smell of the ground the poet is saying even if the mankind will be destroyed there is going to be a rain rain is a natural process it will not stop because of anything and because of that rain the sand will get wet and can you did you ever feel that uh, smell of the sand when water drops are put on it so the first line means that there will be rain and because of that rain the sand will be wet and there will be a sweet smell on the ground and swallow circling with their shimmery sound there are few birds who go on circling 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 they move in circles in the uh, sky and because of that they produce some kind of a sound so these two things will be continuous even if there's a lockdown even if there is a war what are the two things there will be soft rains because of that soft rains the sand will be wet and secondly the birds will be moving in circular motion in the sky and they will be make some they will be making some sound and frogs in the pools singing at night you must have seen frogs you know uh, making some weird kind of noise in the night they will even continue making the same noise and wild plum trees in tremulous white and these plum trees will also exist even if the war takes place so here from the two images you can see that the frog will continue to sing the wild plum trees will continue to be there there will be soft rains there will be soft smell and the and there will be birds who will be revolving in the sky and making some shimmering sound now 5 to 8 line robins will wear their feathery fire now robin if you can see in the first image i have shown the robin robin is a bird which is actually having orange kind of a wings and feathers so orange color is similar to that of a fire so now here is a contrast the poet is saying see this is also orange color which looks so good to us when we see in a bird and when we see the same orange color in the fire it gives pain to our eyes so this is a comparison that that has been done robins will wear their feathery fire that means robins will always have their wings their fire in the form of wings whistling their whims on a low fence wire now again there is a contrast in this line whistling their whims means whims means to produce some kind of a sound that usually these birds produced and where they are sitting they are sitting on a low fence wire 
Now you must be wondering that birds usually sit on trees and all. Why are they sitting on fence wire? Fence wire are actually used. You must have seen in the movies where current flows, some kind of wires people make to protect themselves from the enemy or from the uh, you know from anybody else. So the same kind of fence are used by humans to protect themselves. Now again, the poet is highlighting this point that look at a bird and look at human. The robin is enjoying his orange wings, and at the same time, humans are. covering themselves protecting themselves using a low fence wire and not one will know of the war not one will care at last when it is done the poet is saying how much you fight how much you create problem in the on the earth these birds and animals they are not going to pay attention to it they are not going to pay attention at all they will keep singing they will keep dancing they will keep flying in the ground they will keep having they will be having their own wings they are not going to pay attention even 1% in the second image if you can see i have purposely used this image if you see it's a kind of a lockdown and peacocks are just simply moving because now they are out they are free last 9 to 12 line not one would mind neither bird nor tree again the poet is saying she is giving a message to the humans that you think because of the war the birds and animals or the trees will ever care no it's a normal and continuous process if mankind perished utterly the poet is saying that even if the mankind is end if the mankind is perished not even the bird not even a tree is going to pay attention to it and spring herself when she woke at dawn now what is he saying the spring season the second image i have shown a girl i have shown spring as a girl so that next time when spring again will come the spring will have no idea that we humans are no longer existing right would scarcely know that we were gone the spring season when it will come again will have no idea that the humans have completely depleted destroyed themselves on the earth so this poem was short and the poet just wanted to give us short message whatever humans are doing with planet earth whatever humans are creating problems for the earth there are few things which are not going to be affected at all because they are going to be continuous you have seen the frog you have seen the plum trees you have seen robins you have seen the spring season everything is going to come again without being affected so all the humans that are destroying their world is of no use I hope the poem was clear to you. Thank you.